Good morning. Uh, today, uh, I want to do a quick little video here on the compose key uh, because it's something that is annoying uh, to me, uh, it, 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 not knowing how to use it. Uh, now, what's compose key do? If you want to uh, write something in a foreign language and you need uh, a vowel with an accent, uh, the way to get it is with the compose key. If you want to get the uh, some, some special symbols, like the uh, degree symbol, uh, in fact, let me let me run over here to uh, let me set this to the desktop here and just run over to uh, uh, Google Chrome and here we go. The compose key. All right, so here's a here are some common compose key combinations. So there's the uh, single quote plus A will give you uh, an A with an accent of Rob, I think that is. Or here's one with an umlaut, right? You do the double quote and then an A and so on. Uh, the one I use the most, I guess, is the uh, you know, if I'm talking about the weather, I want this degree symbol that's composed uh, OO. Uh, these are very helpful if you want to do powers. Up one, uh, up, up two, it will give you squared. Up three, it will give you cube, and so on. So how do we set this up? So uh, first of all, what we need to do is Take a look at this document here at help.ubuntu.com on entering special characters. So if you go to, if you just Google help Ubuntu enter special characters, it should bring you right to this page here. And uh, this is going to tell you how to set this up. Uh, the compose key, here we go. The compose key, this tells you how to do it. So you, you open settings. All right, so here's settings. I'm just going to maximize this. And then you click on compose key. And this should be on when you come in and should be set to left alt. Uh, but left alt is a terrible key for this because, and plus I don't think it works with an English keyboard. Uh, so anyway, just turn this off and click on right alt. Now I never hit the, the right alt key. I never use any of the, I don't never use the right control key. Uh, I always hit those keys with my left hand. So this is a, a really good choice for this, for me at least. And uh, once that's set, you can just exit out of here, exit out of here. I'm going to go back to uh, the Wikipedia page here, where we have some examples. And so I'm just going to hold down the, uh, the right alt key. Oops, don't want that. And, oh, I guess that pops up like that. And I'm going to hit the uh, single quote and then the letter A. And there we go. And uh, let's see. Let's do uh, 25. And let's do degrees now. So I'm going to hold down the uh, right alt key and hit 0, 0. Degrees F. All right. And... Uh, what are some other ones we might want to use? We might want to do uh, x squared. So I'm going to hit x. 
I'm going to hold down the right alt key. I'm going to hit the up carrot. Uh, now that is over the six. So I'm going to have to hold the shift key down to do that. Hit that and then hit two. And there's x squared. Uh, what about one half? Let's hold down the uh, right alt key, hit the one and then the two, and there's one half. So uh, let me bring this back up again here. I think you're getting the idea. Uh, let me just maximize this. And take a look at some of these others here that you might find very helpful. Here's how to get an umlaut. You do the double quotes and then the letter. Uh, here's a circumflex. You want to accent circumflex at the hat and then the, the letter. Uh, if you want a copyright symbol, there you go. An O and then a C. Uh, if you want one of these, uh, I guess this is called a diphthong here. Uh, that's how to get it. Compose AE. Just what you might think it would be. Uh, right? If you want the, the British pound sign here, it's dash L. I guess that's a capital L. Uh, I think this is what, an existential quantifier or something? Uh, no, maybe not. Uh, if you need one, though, that's how to get it. Here's the dubla S. Uh, uh, here's the double S, the capital double S. Here's how to get trademark. Uh, if you need the yen, here's the, what else? Anyway, you get the idea. And I think there are more of these. I don't think this is a complete list. Uh, maybe this will bring us to the, this will get us the complete list here. But I'm pretty happy with this. I, you know, I, every once in a while I needed uh, E or a vowel with an accent grav, or I need the degree symbol or the one half symbol or to do a power. And I think I'm pretty much handled uh, completely by that. Anyway, this is how to do it. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Uh, and I thank you for watching.